So you think we haven't met before? In fact, we've been with you your whole life, right here in Greater Waterbury and the Litchfield Hills. On your glorious hikes through the wild hemlock forests, on up to where the trail seems to touch the sky, we were there, thanks to Chris Craig and Joyce Mowry, teachers living in Goshen. Through their donor-advised fund at Connecticut Community Foundation, they directed grants to the Goshen Land Trust to help conserve hundreds of acres and protect wildlife. They know we will invest their dollars wisely to grow their fund today and after their lifetimes, to preserve natural treasures dear to them and you. We were with you as your children grew because artist Linda Nelson of Woodbury made a bequest to the foundation of her paintings and other assets, all so people in Greater Waterbury and the Litchfield Hills could be healthier. Her creativity and caring lives on. As Linda wanted, we will always turn her generosity into grants to organizations that most effectively improve people's health. In fact, Thanks to Linda, Food Corps is creatively teaching children like yours about healthy eating. When you needed help paying the bills to get your daughter through college, we were there for you. Thanks to sisters Nina and Elizabeth Anderson of Southbury. Their scholarship fund at the foundation has helped students like yours pursue the careers of their dreams, and it always will. And when violence touched your family, we were there through Russell and Josephine McMillan of Middlebury. Their daughter Lois's life was cruelly cut short. In her memory, the McMillans are helping other women break the bonds of abuse and develop the self-confidence and dignity needed to move forward in life. For women who call on Safe Haven of Greater Waterbury, this can be life-saving. The McMillans Fund and their legacy of empowering women will last forever. When cancer threatened to steal those moments you most cherish, we were there as you reclaimed your strength at the Greater Waterbury YMCA because Margaret Halden, through her will, created a fund at Connecticut Community Foundation to aid people challenged by cancer and heart disease. Margaret and her husband Carl, who founded the Halden Machine Company in Thomaston, were giants in industry. Their hearts were even bigger. The Halden Fund will always help make lives better through grants to organizations that share their passion to live strong. We don't know what the future will hold for you, but we'll be there because of people like Edie Reynolds and Dan Gaeta, whose humble bookshop in Waterbury is where they learn of their neighbors' needs firsthand. Their unrestricted fund at the foundation will grow over time, helping us respond to the changing and most pressing needs of your communities, just as Edie and Dan want. From your morning hikes through life's challenges and joys, Connecticut Community Foundation has been there for you. Residents of Greater Waterbury and the Litchfield Hills because of the generosity of your neighbors. Their passions to do good have helped solve problems in your communities. And we've directed their donations just as they wished to the local groups doing the best on the ground work. As your community foundation since 1923, that's what we do. What about you? What will your legacy be in the community that you love? Contact us about starting a charitable fund. Let us help make your charitable visions reality.